Well, federal officials say there is good reason to suspect the man running a Metro adoption company was involved in fraud or criminal conduct. A Channel 2 consumer investigation first exposed the problems at Amrex, incorporated two weeks ago. Now, a federal judge has effectively put Amrex out of business. Our consumer investigator Jim Strickland is staying on top of this story with an important new development for us. Yeah, this was in our investigation two weeks ago, John. Amrex's owner pledged on videotape to do all he could to complete 200 adoptions now in limbo. Well, he is not going to get the chance. Adoptive families paid thousands, got no service, got no children, but they may finally get answers. I want to uh, uh, make it clear for those who suspect me from uh, taking money, pocketing money, two questions. I mean, I'm open to that. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Amrex um, owner Sergei Sajatkin is going to get his wish. Processing a large volume of adoptions. The Amrex sales video portrays a once thriving adoption service. Zajatkin left bankruptcy court, having been booted from his own company. A judge wants an independent expert to take over. The U.S. trustee told the judge there are reasonable grounds to suspect participation in fraud, dishonesty, or criminal conduct by Zajatkin. It is the most true statement I've heard in a long time in this whole process. Stacy and Fred Innes are out $34,000. They have a spacious home ready to share with two Russian orphans. Just like in his sales video, Zazyatkin's overseas contacts were supposed to make the adoption sale through. The trustee now says Zazyatkin cannot account for approximately $3 million, creating an atmosphere of suspicion and hostility with families like the Innises. You don't take $3 million, close to $3 million out of a company and expect it to survive. Zajatkin had pledged to call in favors among his contacts to get adoptions completed. It's very difficult for me to do this, but I will try to do everything I can humanly possible. But with the order to call in a third party to run what's left of his business, Zajatkin by law has to break his promise. Anything that he would be doing would be interfering with the trustee's operation of the business. So unfortunately, he will not be able to carry through with what he wanted to do. And while accountants pour over Zajatkin's books, his attorney says they will find nothing criminal. I've seen nothing that indicates any fraud whatsoever. Now, we've already reported Amrex funded more than a million dollars in bad loans and invested two million dollars in Zajatkin's defunct software company. But there is some good news. There's a potential buyer out there, officials tell us, offering $700,000. Of course, the first creditor in line is the IRS. They have submitted a claim for $70,000 in back taxes. Wow. Thank you very much, Jim.